Bienvenidos, friends. I would offer you some coffee and, and pastries as is custom, but uh, you're over there in the comfort of your home. And I'm here in the middle of the hot sun. You know, when I was younger, whenever my mom would invite someone over for a chat, be it my tia, be it anyone else, she would spread a table out like this. She would have some coffee, she'd have some pastries out, and they would have a chat. I mean, I, I never knew what they were talking about, and I always wondered what made that chat different from every other chat. Like a chat you would have at a party, or a chat you'd have at the church. But at, when I grew older, I, I kind of realized it was a different kind of chat. Um, where I come from, there's a specific type of what we call spiritual chats. They're called platicas, which just means to chat. It's a one-on-one -on -one heartfelt conversation where you listen, you encourage, you take the opportunity to hear where the person is at, what are their struggles and what their joys are, and you encourage them with God's grace. So, sisters and brothers in Christ, I invite you now to listen uh, to Rick's musical offerings this evening, but with one added difference. Think of it as Rick having a platica with you through the organ and through the piano. I'm going to let you listen to Rick now. And we'll be right back.
talking to you, to hear him speak to you tender musical notes of grace. You know, as we continue through these various storms of, in our life together, be it the up and coming hurricane, or be it the pandemic, or be it uh, the, the election season that's coming up, I'm reminded of Paul's words that I think are very fitting today as he and as us, we attempt to deal with how do we regard each other? Each other in our own complexities, our personalities and our perspectives. Paul says this, that we, are not, that we ought not to think of ourselves more highly than we are. That means we're not all that in a bag of potato chips, or we're not all that in a concha. I think these words of Paul for us today are words of grace. They're words that free us up to really consider our neighbor just as they are. It's considering how God's grace has claimed us and others precisely just for who we are. I think Carl Roger called it called this grace unconditional positive regard. Another famous Mr. Rogers, you probably know him as Fred Rogers, said, I like you just the way you are. And as I found myself facing so many different challenges in my life, um, again, I, I heard those words of grace for me that those words of grace had a name and a face. I'm reminded whenever I, I doubted my call, there God's grace had a, had a face and a name for me in all my friends. When I felt tired of the discrimination and the bigotry that I faced um, growing up or even in the church, there I heard God's grace in a friend via Facebook Messenger. Or whenever I, I felt exhausted, drained by work and drained by the loneliness of, of being physically distanced from people. The phone calls of friends was grace for me. So I wonder, do you have anyone whom you can have a kind of a platica with? If you do, I invite you now, take the opportunity to think of them. Think, and think of how they have, with their words and with their presence and even with their gifts of a meal, have shown you God's grace for you this day and have shown you that they see you just for who you are. If you don't, it's okay. It takes some time to develop those kind of relationships and there's a lot of trust involved there. And I invite you, if you don't have anyone like that, take the time to find someone. It doesn't have to be overnight in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks. And this, this gift of a chat may not necessarily be for you. But what I'm offering you here today, sisters and brothers, is the gift of another person's presence, of being able to name God's grace for you in a way that you can tangibly see and feel and hear. So, the next time you're around and you want to have a platica over some conchas and a little bit of espresso or maybe, I don't know, horchata or something that's a little more suitable for the heat, come and join us. God be with you. Amen.